All right, well, we trapped a skunk last night, so we're getting ready to haul it somewhere. So I've got our trailer right on the back here. Now we just gotta go get the skunk out of this barn. Moved everything out yesterday. Happened to trap it at about 11.30 midnight last night. And it is right inside there. This is gonna be interesting. Let's do it. All right, I think we found the skunk. It's living in this barn over here where we keep our mower. Becky just saw it in there. So we're gonna take a net, take a tarp. If it sprays, but we like block it with this. Like I know it'll stink, but it, like it won't be on me, right? So where's it at in here? In the tarp. Hang on, hang on. Let's see if it's in here. Don't touch it, Dad. It's just threatening you. Yeah. It feels threatening. It's in the Oh, yeah. Yes. It's right down in there. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I'm not touching it. <laughs> Is there any safe way to deal with this? This? Oh. I'd say um, try to block this whole barn off and then put the trap in here. Okay. And then once he's trapped, then we can put the plastic cover over on top and then pull him out of here. Okay. We've been putting this trap out every night. In the last couple nights, he hasn't come into the yard. But now we can put the trap exactly where the skunk is at. I don't think he'll have any option but to go for it. All right. Our camera's all set up. So let's close this door up and see if we can catch him. All right. I think we're going to catch a skunk. Maybe yes. All right, let's find out. All right, so the plan is to go in, throw the tarp on the skunk, bring it out and put it into the trailer and hopefully not get sprayed. And then we'll take it down by a river that's a couple miles away and we'll release it there. What could go wrong? All right, hon, we've got the skunk packed up. Why are we moving it somewhere else? Well, it's in a trap, so we gotta get rid of it now. But we trapped it because they are prone to eating chicken eggs and we have chickens. And so we can't have them hanging around our chicken flock. So we have to just move them somewhere. We don't wanna kill him. He's not done anything wrong. So we don't wanna kill him, but we want him out of here. So we're gonna just haul him off. Yeah, and if you saw our last video, he would constantly go up to the chick coop, like was trying to find a way in there. So this skunk was not gonna give up until it found a way to get to get in there. So, so now we're gonna drive really slowly and get this skunk over to a spot that's a couple miles away where we think we can release it and it won't make its way back here anytime soon. All right, buddy, here we go. All right, we've made it to our drop off point. Looks like it's staying pretty calm. We're trying to let it settle for a minute before we mess with it and try to let it out. So I'm gonna have to get geared back up again, get my face covered. We'll get the tarp to separate between me and the skunk, and then I'm gonna come right out here and try to lift up the back and let the skunk out. Let's see if this will work.
Careful. You just let the skunk go. How do you feel? <laughs> Whew, that was intense. It was really quick. I was really afraid. As soon as I saw it start to run out, scamper out, I thought it was going to stop and then just spray right back at me. And I had the tarp down low and I didn't have it up blocking. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I just froze for a second and then it kept running. I was like, I'm good. It kept going. So, what a relief to get it off of our property back into the wilderness and just to be able to be free of that predator. So that was a big relief. So we let it go pretty much where it wouldn't bother anybody. There's just a big cornfield here and no houses, no other chicken farms. So we knew it would be best out here, so. What'd you think of the skunk, huh? Uh, I think it was you spray. Want a pet? You want a pet skunk? <laughs> no. Do you think it was gonna spray me? Yes. You did? I do too. I do too. Do you think it was going to spray daddy? Yes. You did? Oof. So thanks for rooting for us and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys later.